What's up guys and welcome back to my GTA 6 news series. Today I'll be going over every confirmed weapon to be in GTA 6, including 9 melee weapons, 7 guns and 6 throwables. And there's also a few items in here we've not actually had before in a GTA game, so I'll be going over those too. Alright, so first up, there are some huge changes to how weapons work in GTA 6, so before I go over these new weapons, let's talk about how this works in the new game. And as a quick disclaimer to avoid any copyright issues, I'm not going to be showing any leaked footage and I'm not going to be linking to it. So let's get started. GTA 6 is going to be having a limited weapon wheel similar to Red Dead Redemption 2. So in previous GTA games we've been able to store basically an unlimited amount of weapons on our person, but it looks like Rockstar are taking the more realistic approach here. You're going to be able to drop weapons as well as pick weapons up, there's going to be unique animations for this. And the weapon wheel will also be able to switch between your weapons and your equipment and gear, again similar to Red Dead Redemption 2. You will be able to store larger weapons on your character's back when they're not in use, just like in Red Dead Redemption 2. So if you have a pistol out and you have a shotgun or a long rifle also, that'll be visible on your back. So let's get into the weapons that have been confirmed so far. Let's start with melee. We've got the baseball bat. This is a very common melee weapon, pretty much present in every Grand Theft Auto game. Next up is the crowbar. Now this was a melee weapon that was introduced first in GTA 5 and GTA Online, so it will be making a return in GTA 6. Next up we have a few golfing items that can be used as melee weapons. Now we have had a golf club in previous GTA games. Um, I think GTA 5, GTA Online, Vice City, San Andreas, they've all had golf clubs. However, in GTA 6, they're going to be split out by the type of golf club it is. So we're going to have a golf driver, a golf iron, a golf putter, and a golf wedge. But I guess essentially they're all going to work pretty similar when you're whacking people over the head with them. Next up we have the knife, again a very common melee weapon we've had in most GTA games. Next up we have the pool cue, and this is a weapon that we had in San Andreas, The Lost and Damned. It never made its way to story mode in GTA 5, but it did actually get added to GTA Online as part of the bikers update. And then our last melee weapon would be, if all else fails, just your fist. Next up, let's move on to the guns that have been confirmed so far. First up is the pistol. This is a weapon that appears in all GTA games. It's the most basic and common firearm that you can pretty much own in this series. Now its real life replica is, depends on which GTA game we're talking about here, actually varies depending on, uh, through the series, depending on the game. However, in GTA 6, it's going to be a bit early to tell which real life we uh, pistol exactly this is based on. Next up we have the Assault Rifle, this one is of course based on the real life AK-47. Again a very common weapon, it's appeared in every GTA game since GTA 3, except I believe GTA Vice City. Next up is the Bolt Action Sniper, there have been a few different snipers spotted in GTA 6 but the Bolt Action will be a new one. If you're enjoying this video so far please take a few seconds to leave it a like and also subscribe so you don't miss out on any future GTA 6 news. The Micro SMG up next, this one is of course based on the real life Uzi, another very common weapon, it's been featured in pretty much every game in the series since GTA 3. Another SMG spotted was the Mini SMG, this one is based on the real life Scorpion and this is a submachine gun we've had in Vice City Stories and GTA Online as part of the Bikers update. The classic sniper rifle will also be returning to GTA 6. Now its resemblance has changed depending on which GTA game it's been in, but in GTA 5 it was based on the Arctic Warfare and again featured in every GTA game since GTA 3. Now the next two weapons are very common and have appeared in pretty much every GTA game and they are the pump action shotgun and also the RPG, the rocket launcher, which is a heavy class weapon. And then the last weapon to talk about is a really interesting one, it will be a new one to the GTA franchise which is pretty exciting, and that is the spear gun. Now the spear gun is basically described, according to Wikipedia, as a ranged underwater fishing device designed to launch a tethered spear or harpoon to impale fish or other marine animals and targets. Spear guns are also used in sport fishing and underwater target shooting, so I'm very excited to get my hands on that. And then the last six weapons to go over are all throwables, uh, starting us off with the fire bottle. Now the fire bottle was in Red Dead Redemption 2, so that'll be the one I'll be showing on screen. And then next up we have the flashbang. The flashbang will be a new weapon for GTA 6, I don't believe we've seen that so far in the GTA series. Next up we have the grenade. This is a very common throwable, it's been pretty much in every GTA game since GTA 2. The Molotov cocktail. 
This is a thrown weapon, again, that's been in pretty much every GTA game. We also have this smoke grenade or tear gas. This one was based on the M18 smoke grenade in GTA 5, but it was also featured in a few of the other games such as um, San Andreas and Vice City. And then the last throwable weapon we have in GTA 6 is the golf ball. Now this is a new weapon to the GTA series, I don't believe we've had a golf ball in any of the other games. Um, I'm not really sure how much damage you're going to be doing with a golf ball compared to some of these other throwables, but it was noticed as a confirmed weapon nonetheless. So it's worth mentioning that all of the weapons mentioned in today's video are very likely not to be the full list we're going to get in the game. This is just what have been spotted and confirmed so far, so do expect this list to grow. And just in comparison, in GTA 5 at launch we had 37 weapons, so we're likely to have a very similar amount in GTA 6. If you guys do want to be kept up to date with all the latest GTA 6 news and updates, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any future breaking information. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.